The next step will be getting our router status. Do a single left click on router status. Notice that the firmware is version 1.0.3. That is the initial release of software for this router. We're going to do a single left click up in our address bar and type in the web address of www.netgear.com and press enter. That takes us to the Netgear website where we're then going to do a single left click on the word support. We're then going to do a single left click in the search box and type in our number WGR614 and press search now. Single left click. This is our router so we're going to do right here a single click on that link and it's going to come down and show you version 5 and there's a version 4. Version 5 is telling us is a white router instead of silver. This is the correct page, single left click on the link. You'll notice the firmware is now up to 1.07. Do a single left click on the firmware and scroll to the bottom of the page and do a single right click to save it and then a left click to save as and we're going to put it to our desktop and say save. You'll notice this is the desktop and then we're going to say save. So the file will be saved to our desktop. If I minimize this you'll notice there's the file that we had just saved to our desktop. Let's bring this back up and we're now going to log back into our router of 192.168.1.1 press enter and because we were not logged out before it came back right back into it we're then going to scroll down that's where we should have logged out before leaving the screen so whenever you do read this, you need to make sure that you always log out first. Now we're going to do a router upgrade, so scroll back up to router upgrade and do a single left click. It's going to ask us the location of the file. Click browse. We know the location is on our desktop. Do a single left click on the OK and a click on upload click on OK. That is why we didn't make very many changes except for a password change to keep everybody out. We're then going to scroll back up to the word router status and you'll notice we now are running version 1.0.7 so we have the new version within the router and we're ready to start our configurations